Hello students. In this session, we will discuss about resources and development. Chapter 1 Geography, Class 10, Social Science. When we talk about resources, first of all, we should know what is the meaning of resources. In simple terms, everything available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs provided it is technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable so if something falls into this category it can be termed as a resource so when we talk about the process of transformation then the process of transformation of things available in our environment involves an interdependent relationship between nature technology and institutions and human beings interact with nature through technology and create institutions to accelerate their economic development. Generally, we think that resources are free gifts of nature. What do you think? Actually, they are not. Resources are a function of human activities. Human beings themselves are essential components of resources. They transform material available in our environment into resources and use them. These resources can be classified in the following ways. On the basis of origin, biotic and abiotic, on the basis of exhaustibility, renewable and non-renewable, on the basis of ownership, individual, community, national and international, on the basis of status of development, potential, developed, stock and reserves. In this chart, you can see classification of resources resources can be divided into two categories natural resources and human resources in natural resources two categories renewable resources and non-renewable resources then renewable in further division continuous or flowing for example wind and water biological that means natural vegetation and wildlife. In non-renewable resources, we have two categories, recyclable like metals and non-recyclable such as fossil fuels. In human resources, we have two categories, structures and institutions, quantity and quality. So these are some of the main features of resources in further topics we will study in detail about all these things first of all types of resources on the basis of origin biotic resources and abiotic resources so all the resources which are obtained from biosphere and have life such as human beings are known as biotic resources all the resources which are composed of non-living things are called abiotic resources, for example, rocks and metals. Second category on the basis of exhaustibility. First one, renewable resources. The resources which can be renewed or reproduced by physical, chemical or mechanical processes are known as Renewable resources, for example, solar and wind energy, water and wildlife, etc. Then non-renewable resources, resources which occur over a very long geological time. 
once they have been used they are exhausted for example minerals and fossil fuels these resources take million of years in their formation the next category on the basis of ownership individual resources these are the resources owned by individuals many farmers own land which is allotted to them by the government in villages there are people with land ownership in cities people own plots houses and other property so these are some examples of individual resources second category is community owned resources resources which are used by all the members of community in the villages we find some common land such as grazing grounds burial grounds village pond etc then public parks picnic spots are some other examples in urban areas of community resources then national resources <clears throat> generally you can say technically all the resources belong to the nation the country has legal power to acquire even private property for public good you might have seen roads canals railways being constructed on fields owned by some individuals all the mineral resources water resources forest wildlife etc which are within the political boundaries of one country an oceanic area up to 12 nautical miles that means 19.2 km from the coast of that country are termed as resources of that nation then another category is natural resources there are international institutions which regulate some resources the oceanic resources beyond 200 km of the exclusive economic zone belong to open ocean and no individual country can utilize these without the concurrence of international resources next category we have on the basis of status of development first one potential resources resources which are found in a region but still have not been utilized for example in rajasthan and gujarat have enormous potential for the development of wind and solar energy second category developed resources resources which are surveyed their quality and quantity have been determined for utilization then stock material in the environment which have the potential to satisfy human needs but human beings don't have technology to access these resources are called stock for example water is combination of hydrogen and oxygen which can be used as a rich source of energy but we do not have the required technical knowledge to use them for this purpose hence it can be considered as stock then reserves reserves are the subset of the stock which can be put into use with the help of existing technical knowledge but their use has not been started for example river water can be used for generating hydroelectric power but presently it is being utilized only to a limited extent so students remaining topic will be covered in part 2 thank you